Hello YouTubers, I uh, wanted to do a quick video about batteries. Um, you get into alternative energy, you're going to get into storing electricity and you're going to get into batteries and you're going to learn how to what amp hours mean versus cranking amps and what uh, what kind of load you can put on them and how many life cycles and learn a bunch of terms like that. And as I was learning that, a few things uh, of interest here. I, one I just want to do, I, I, I did some experiments on concrete batteries myself. These are my concrete batteries. Uh, you can see the date on this that I made. This is 2-24-2012, and all of them together was 8.45 volts. And this has just been sitting in a closet taking some abuse. I've, it did have a light here on this here where you could uh, see it light up. and It's been just pulled apart there. And, it's just been sitting there and what you're seeing is let me give you a description what you're seeing is a four inch piece of PVC pipe a uh, piece of aluminum and a piece of copper now I guess all this is a galvanic effect what this is is poured in a in a styrofoam cup this is a piece of uh, galvanized sheet metal with a piece of copper in it uh, this here or this let's go with this one first this one is uh, magnesium copper and this one's magnesium copper and they dry out and when they dry out they don't charge so this here is actually poured in resin so I wanted to see if the resin would hold the moisture inside uh, point of interest is is that I don't know if you can see that but it actually cracked the resin here there's a crack in the resin so it seems like there was something in there a gas or something that wanted to get out and oddly enough this one here cracked too the PVC pipes held together pretty good uh, I'm going to try to take a reading on this and uh, sure, sorry about the shaky camera and my bad uh, filming techniques let me get this turned on so if I uh, if I go here on this battery right now, one point one two, and that battery hasn't had anything in it, any water poured in it, in I guess six months. Now I've got just a little water, and I don't know if you'll notice here, but in the top of this here, at this hole here, I made I put holes. In. I think I did that with a pencil or something. So what I could do is, is I could take, when that goes down, it loses its electrolyte, I could take a little bit of water and pour it down in that hole, and it recharges those batteries. So those are some concrete batteries. I'll tell you the mix in this, and this is, uh, I tried different things. I tried alum. Uh, I tried uh, uh, magnesium sulfate. Uh, Epsom salt and I also tried some uh, water softeners and just over other things uh, magnesium sulfate table salt alum uh, you really can't go wrong with it you'll get a little bit more out of some of them than others uh, let's see now that it's been wet a moment I don't know that it will but perhaps it will uh, it will raise in voltage here I'm gonna put the uh, put it on there again and see if it'll if it no nope, still 1.12 but when it does do go dead and completely dry out water on it will uh, will recharge them uh, so I thought that was pr pretty interesting I think you know really an application for them would be like uh, put them up dry have an LED that runs off of them if you ever have a power outage or whatever you could always get them out pour some water on them and charge them right up and, and go so they might be a great emergency use they don't put out a lot of current uh, they will take a charge oddly enough uh, just interesting little deal um, that battery there uh, I heard a lot about uh, nickel iron batteries and how well if you read up on them you know they're kind of like le urban myths or legends or whatever um, you can't overcharge them uh, you, they freeze and thaw and you can't deplete them too deep and they just you know they're tough this is magnesium 
and a nickel in KOH and that battery there has been setting since uh, last year and it too uh, is holding a, it is holding a good charge now as I got into these batteries I also got into reconditioning batteries and I ordered uh, this charger which is supposed to recondition 12 volt batteries and in addition to that I ordered this charger which will uh, can that focus there all right which will recondition or supposed to recondition batteries of different sizes all your DeWalt drills and your rechargeable batteries and I guess these are what you would call a pulse charger they uh, pulse higher voltages at, at various times uh, to help desulfate uh, in theory uh, they're fairly expensive and to be honest with you so far I haven't had any more success out of them than I would with a normal battery charger uh, just maybe upping the voltage or upping the current every once in a while hitting it with spikes uh, seems to do about the same thing uh, the small charger is a good charger if you lose your charger uh, it probably does recondition the batteries and make them last somewhat longer but if you think you're going to buy a charger like this and go out and buy dead deep cell batteries like that right there 200 amp hour and it's been used and abused for years and you're going to bring that back and get another lifetime of use out of it you're uh, well, you better be I hope you're better at it than I am anyway how's that okay well that's a uh, about it on my short battery video here I also wanted to share just to show you that there is a uh, there's concrete batteries it's been lined up and running set of series here in parallel to get a little bit more power those been set in some time too I really haven't used those anymore either okay well that's my batteries uh, thanks for watching